Brace yourselves guys, because you are about to read the incredible adventures of a guy I like to call Rodent Rick. Be me. About a year ago, just started studying IT at a university. First week is pretty chill, just some introductions to all the things around the campus. We are about 500 students in IT class. Next week, our first official lesson starts. Friends and I are already late so the only seats left are in the first row. Sit down next to some weird guy, but didn't pay much attention to him because the professor was already scribbling things on the board. This was my first mistake. Pop open my desk and immediately notice a strange liquid on it. I catch the guy on my left looking at me from the corner of my eye. Notice bite marks next to the liquid. Or hell no dodgif. Someone obviously chewed on the table. Also notice a terrible smell. Ask my friends to stand up and move to another table. Then I notice it for the first time. Faster. The guy next to me made what I can only describe as autistic meerkat mating noises. That's when I looked him in the face for the first time and oh lord did I regret that. His nose was so crooked and curved that every Jew would be jealous of him. He wore glasses with 40 something diopter making his eyes bigger than his head, and he had an overbite that could span the distance between England and France. Also his right ear someone told me later it got chipped off at a lawnmower accident, but it basically looked like someone hot glued a Cheeto to the side of his head. He basically looked like a retarded naked gerbil or rodent. That's why we started calling him Rodent Rick. It was obvious that he had some kind of mental health issue, but I didn't care he weirded me out. After we moved two seats to the right things got quieter and I could concentrate on the lecture until this happened. Remember that Spongebob scene with the victory screech? Well this guy just stood up out of nowhere and let out the most screechy, squeaky victory screech I ever witnessed in front of 500 something people. The entire lecture hall is dead silent. Rodent Rick just jumps over the table and exits the hall as if nothing ever happened and I swear to god he winked at me before going through the door. This should only be the beginning. Some weeks pass and everyone is talking about that strange kid who screamed during the lesson and just left. By the way. He didn't even pick up his stuff his jacket, backpack and everything he just left and nobody has seen him since. My friends and I hang out with some other new kids after class. Someone says there was a break in in the biology department this moment some birds got out of their cages and some are still missing. Think it's just some stupid student joke. We go and get lunch in the cafeteria. God I love me some spicy spaghetti. Suddenly hear a scream from the other side of the room. Can't see shit because of all the students. A girl runs past us towards the exit the fuck is going on dot pdf. Get up and walk towards the other side of the room. See a small figure on the floor gnawing on something unidentifiable. Colorful feathers everywhere. Lord have mercy. Text. It's Rodent Rick with what seems to be the leftover carcass of a parrot in his mouth. Judging by all the feathers in the blood, he already ate most of it. Lunch ladies call security and he gets escorted out of the building. He is now known as the weirdo who stole and ate a parrot from the biology department. He is expelled from campus for five weeks and has to pay the damage caused by breaking into the bird shelter and eating a rare Caribbean parrot. If you are not studying it I can tell you that being expelled from classes for 5 weeks is basically a death sentence for this semester. Especially in the first semester when you have to learn all the basics but then again I don't know how he even got into university in the first place. 5 weeks pass as usual. Nothing out of the ordinary happens. Started chatting up with one of the only girls in our class IT class gender ratio is about 95% male. We have roughly 10 women in 500 students. Also 50% of all students are absolute stereotypical 4chan beaters fag, fat and or hairy and or smelly and or socially awkward. Not a perfect 10 practically impossible to find an IT, but my cobra takes what it can get. I like the way it goes. Let's call her Fiona. Fiona is what the super nanny would call an unsolvable case. She is an absolute rebel. Hates her parents, nihilistic all the way to the tip of her blue hair. Thank god her tumblr blog is not about feminism which she finds ridiculous by the way but helicopter parents and adult morals. Overall a mini bane with parent issues 7 out of 10 not fat cute smile. Looks like Ramona from Scott Pilgrim against the world. However she is super friendly and what's more important she laughs about my jokes. Okay back the interesting stuff. 5 weeks passed and everybody thought it was the end of Rodent Rick. But we thought wrong. He started appearing in the classes again, but aside from the occasional meerkat noises he behaved pretty normal. Surprisingly he didn't fail a single test. He had a better score than pretty much everyone else. He was under the top 10. It's winter now and my friends, Fiona, some new dudes and I started becoming a big group of 12 people. 
We do a lot of stuff together like ice skating fuck you I don't care if it's gay or going to the cinema. So we decided to go and watch Interstellar. Scene 15 entry rodent Rick. He is sitting in the very front row of the almost empty cinema. Around him a pool of popcorn. He is wearing the bag as a hat. We try to contain our laughter so he doesn't notice us. The movie starts and with it Rick's endeavor. For some reason he is obsessed with Matthew McConaughey. Because every single time he appears on screen which is a lot of times because he is the main character he starts to squeal and mumble something unintelligible. Halfway through the movie we notice a change in his behavior. He is now quieter and started to move around slightly. This better not be what I think it is. Obama. After the credits start to roll, we wait for him to get out and investigate what just happened. Instead of walking out of the cinema like a normal person, he walks up the stairs on all four legs. We go down to the first row and immediately notice what is left of his McConaughey pleasure session. A bunch of wet tissues and stains on the seat. We leave the cinema and walk towards the metro station. In front of the metro station is Rick. Trying mount a light pole. Sits already late at night so nobody except for Rick. My friends and I is on the street. Friends suggest we need to do something about this guy. Fiona feels sorry for him, because of his mental illness. We decide that one of us should talk to him everyone looks at me for fuck's sake. BMP. Slowly approach Rick and try to do some small talk. Realize I don't even know his name. Everybody just called him Rodent Rick or Gerbil. Initiate conversation with him. Hey, you're in my IT class aren't you? Rick stops dead in his tracks and starts sniffing the air like some sort of mole. I'm not sure if he has noticed me yet, so up. Uh, I saw you in the cinema 15 minutes ago. Did you like the movie? Rick looks at me with his gigantic eyes and exclaims loudly sheesh the best movie I have ever seen. He is not Irish. His overbite just doesn't allow him to do the thr and his sound. So ah, uh, you need any help? Big mistake. Sure he says can you warm my noodle oddly for a second. L look down at him and catch his tiny baby carrot of an erection looking back at me. I turn around and just walk away. Get back to my friends and tell them that we are going to take the bus. Fiona wait anonymous. Is he going to be fine? Me yeah he is definitely going to be okay. Secretly hope that his penis gets stuck on the ice cold pole and doctors will have to amputate it. Three days later. Back at university. Lunch break. It's taco Thursday, which means tomorrow will be asshole apocalypse Friday. Don't care. I love tacos. And apparently Rodent Rick likes them as well. His tray is filled with tacos. He doesn't even have a plate on the tray. And he is heading straight for my table what have I done to deserve this? Dot HTML. He sits down next to me and immediately starts scratching the side of the taco with his two front teeth. What even? I'll just try to ignore him. But the stench coming from his direction is absolutely unbearable. Rick drops his taco for a second and scratches his ass. When his hand returns it's covered in brown stuff. Almost have to throw up, but wait it gets better. About 5 seconds later he lets out the most inhuman scream I have ever heard. It's not like the Spongebob screech I wrote about earlier. This is a hair raising glass breaking, alarming scream. He completely undresses in front of the entire cafeteria whilst rubbing his butthole. Just then I realize what is happening. It looks like the hand he scratched his butthole with hand some extra spicy hot sauce on it which is now melting its way inside his rectum. Rick is now completely naked, running around in the cafeteria whilst fingering his ass with a good hand. Everyone is disgusted. Some girl is puking. But no one is actually doing something against or for him because no one wants to touch him. Rick finds the emergency exit and runs outside. That's the last time I saw him for the next couple of months. Apparently he got expelled for another 5 weeks. Some people said he studies from home by watching streams of the lectures. Somehow still passes all the test. L never actually saw him take any test or exam. Fast forward this summer. Rick is still the infamous guy who ate a parrot and pleasured himself publicly in the cafeteria. All the new students think it's just a myth the older students made up. Until that one day before the summer exam. Fiona and now my girlfriend are studying for the exams. Outside under a tree. When all of a sudden a big limousine pulls up on the street. The back door opens. Out comes fucking Rodent Rick with the same shirt he wore when I last saw him. I can't believe my eyes. He is now also wearing baggy pants. As he waddles towards the entrance of the university like a fat black woman who waddies towards fried chicken we get up and follow him with some distance. The stench cloud he is dragging behind is rolling up my fingernails. Yup. Definitely Rick. As he heads for the principal's office we make a turn and go to our friends. 
After some research we find out that he is actually the son of the richest dude in town. What the fuck? This guy ate a fucking parrot and is probably a millionaire. Amazed by this new fact we go to our next class. 30 minutes into class the fire alarm goes off. The whole university gets outside. Firefighters arrive. After 20 minutes or so they are coming out again. One of them holds a slightly charred rodent Rick in his arms. After the ambulance takes him to the hospital and the firefighters take off again. Everything slowly returns back to normal. That's the last time I saw him here is what apparently happened as told by the lab guy. When he left the principal's office he came by the chemistry lab. The lab guys are fans of sci-fi movies so they have posters of different science fiction movies in the lab. Including one from Interstellar the one with Matthew McConaughey's face on it. Rick saw that poster and decided to burst into the gem lab so he can perform cunnilingus to McConaughey's face, while knocking over some highly flammable chemicals and setting him on fire during the process. The official version was laboratory accident may he and his chart penis live in hell. God bless. Will update as soon as I see him again. So I've recently moved Nick Bairdia merch over to Teesprings and have a few new designs. Listings are below the video and in the description. So I am an affiliate of NordVPN. If you have been thinking of getting a VPN with everything going on at the minute NordVPN is offering 75% off a 3 year plan. I have been using Nor myself for a few years now because it helps support a lot of the people I like to watch on YouTube and I think it's pretty cool they have let me become an affiliate. So check out norvpn.org forward slash nickbeardia and use coupon code nickbeardia for 75% off while the offer is on. Just stop! Just stop it! Stop! No! Just stop it! It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! What the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop!